Hi everybody, welcome back to In The Huddle. I'm Jillian Kushner. Today we're going to talk about a discussion topic. We're going to talk about who should be the NBA MVP. So before you go, please subscribe below and like the link in the description box. And let's get started. So a big topic right now in sports is who should be the NBA MVP. It seems like this is a really, really close race this year and I personally have taken a side, but first I'm going to tell you all who's in contention for it. So you might hear some people name other people, but it's really between James Harden of the Houston Rockets and Russell Westbrook of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Like, yes, Kawhi is in the mix, LeBron's in the mix, other people, they're not really in the mix because it's really, I mean, no one's talking about them. It's between Westbrook and Harden. You're either Team Russ or you're Team Harden. That's it. Like, there's no one else is in discussion. And I've never seen an MVP race like this. I personally don't think the MVP is that big of a deal, but this year, it just kind of is. I mean, I don't think either of these guys are winning a championship this year, but it's just a very big deal because both have had such amazing seasons. I personally think one season is better than the other, but we'll get to that. Like I said, I don't think MVP is a big deal. Like, you know, Kobe only has one MVP in his career, but he has five rings. So like, which is more important? The rings. Some people really care about having MVPs. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but this year it's just like, it's intense. The Rockets have a better record than the Thunder, but they're both going to be in the playoffs and actually that's a first round matchup in the West is Thunder versus Rockets. Uh, James Harden and Russell Westbrook used to be teammates in Oklahoma City before uh, James Harden went to Houston. So this is all like weird. They both really like respect each other. They like each other. They're on good terms. They both think the other is deserving. And yeah, but I think one's more deserving than the other. And that person is Russell Westbrook. James Harden is having a great season. Don't get me wrong. The Rockets have been very successful, all that. But what Russell Westbrook do is doing is unbelievable. Last night, he got his 42nd triple-double of the season. And triple-double means that you had double digits in points, rebounds, and assists, which is amazing to even get one of those. Russell Westbrook got his 42nd. The NBA record was 41 ever, held by Oscar Robinson, the great Oscar Robinson. And Russell Westbrook just beat that. 42 triple-doubles in a season is legitimately I can't even grasp it. Like, I can't fathom it. It's insane to me. What he's doing is, I don't think we're ever going to see that happen again. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I went the rest of my lifetime without seeing someone get 42 triple doubles in a season. Because that is so, it's just so difficult. I mean, yeah, like, it's a long NBA season, but that means he got triple double in literally more than half of his games. That's insane. I, listen, man. He is unbelievable. I think Russell Westbrook is just this incredible specimen. He's so athletic. He's so good at basketball. It's just watching him is just incredible. I mean, you're in for a show every time he's playing. He's unreal. He's so fun to watch. I think he's fantastic. He's been the All-Star Game MVP twice, two years in a row. So he knows how to ball and I think he deserves his MVP. And he had this amazing season after KD, Kevin Durant left. Oklahoma City and went to the Warriors, which was this huge drama in the sports world, but he did this. Like, he went crazy this year, and you have to reward that. 42 triple doubles! Wow. That's unbelievable. I don't know how he does that. I don't know how he did that. And he, you know, I think he has one or two more games this season, so I think he might even be able to get 43. Who knows, but he deserves this. Hands down. No disrespect to James Harden, but... He doesn't have 42 triple doubles. He only has 21. Far less impressive. Sorry, James, but I'm Team Russ. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Thursday.